at 42 years old in 2,744 days, but who's counting? After coming up short on his first attempt, Glover getting his second shot at UFC gold, not to mention he is riding a five fight win streak. So that is the longest of his career right now. What do you believe has been his key and his secret and able to define the odds and actually getting better with age shell? Charlie, when you and I would work in Bristol, I would then rent a car and drive to Waterbury. That's where Glover lives and that's where he trains. And I bring that to you because of all the time that I spent with Glover, and he was very good and I could feel the skill, which I'm sure doesn't surprise you, but it was an attitude. More than anything else, there was a positive attitude. We would be at the done, done workouts and the whole team would be grinding on something called an aerodyne bike and Glover would I be in the this. corner yelling out chants for everybody. He's just a positive guy. He's always wanted to get this opportunity back. He's always believed himself. He did not come this far to only come this far he is going to try to become the champion of the world yeah and he has been very vocal that he believes this may very well be his last shot at obtaining that gold so now let's look at the other side the champ Jan Bohovic he's known for his legendary Polish knockout power but in his last title defense we saw him deploy a dominant display of wrestling so which strategy do you believe is the best path to victory for him against Teixeira Let's use them both because it's the threat of the takedown that's going to open up those hands uh, for Jan Blahovich. The mere fact that Blahovich, for 10 minutes, two straight rounds, took and held down Izzy Adesanya is going to be in the mind of Glover Teixeira. It's a weapon and a tool we've never seen Blahovich use before. So now Glover, who thought he was preparing for a pure kickboxer, thought he was coming out just for fisticuffs, knows that his opponent has an extra tool. Jan can use that. He doesn't even have to take him down, Charlie. Jan just needs to use the threat. He needs to make Glover look for it, change elevation, and pop back up. Keep his opponent guessing. Yep, keep him guessing. That's the key. Now, Teixeira attempting to join Daniel Cormier and Randy Couture as just the third fighter to hold a UFC title after turning 40. He's coming in as an underdog for this one. So what weakness of Jan's can Glover potentially expose to pull off this upset? In theory, this is a working theory, so I'll just speak to the uh, it, it, rumors going around the internet, if you will, but Jan Blahovich being the younger of the fighters is supposed to be the faster of the fighters, and I know the father time catches us all. I don't buy into the fact that it's caught Glover yet. I have seen no evidence that, that Glover has slowed down. I have seen no evidence that Glover has been uh, getting punched more, even reacting to it. Now, I only bring that to you because these guys are the same guys. They're both orthodox. They both stand six feet tall. They both weigh in at 205 pounds. They like to kickbox, and they both got good grappling look if you look at their resumes these two guys are identical history tells us when you put guys that are identical you don't have them for a long drawn out night somebody gets to the target faster and somebody puts the other one to sleep thank you for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus